Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I wanted to talk about this 800 pound transmission jack that uh, I've had for a little while now. Picked it up at Harbor Freight, and uh, it's been a lifesaver in many cases. Uh, I've done a few automatic transmissions with this, and uh, even a standard transmission, I used it to help line it up. And uh, though I would not recommend doing a transmission alone, I actually was able to remove and replace the F-150's transmission and transfer case using this and uh, did that alone as far as the actual lifting it and lining it up. So I'll get into that a little bit later, why this uh, tool is so great. Um, but uh, definitely, uh, first off, I wouldn't recommend trying to do a transmission on your own, but if you're in that situation, this will be one of your best friends along the way. So. Uh, some things I like about it is it is somewhat low profile, though um, when the transmission is on it, it's difficult to still get it underneath the car or truck that you're working on. So you got to really lift the car or truck on one side or, or whatnot to usually get this to fit underneath it. So even though it's a low profile design, it still isn't quite low as uh, would be nice if they could engineer it to be a little lower, but uh, that's just nitpicking. Um, I really like how it has four different caster wheels on it that allow you to turn it in whatever direction you want. Because, you know, just like that floor jack over there, for example, it has fixed front wheels and then the back wheels pivot. This one pivots on all four, so when you're underneath it and you need to move the whole thing side to side, it'll do that. So, um, really well built there. I haven't had any problems with uh, anything there. Um, that's been real nice. It's, it has a separate release here to lower it, and then you just tighten it back up for more pressure. And this has been great too, because it pivots too, so when you're under the car sideways, you can lift with it over here, you can lift with it in the back, anyway. But uh, that's what I was gonna mention I didn't like about it, is it doesn't really lock in here very well. It comes out quite often, so just be aware of, of that. Um, up front, it's nice to have these adjustable, they'll adjust in and out. Um, these are meant to cradle like the transmission pan and um, they do an okay job. Sometimes they didn't have enough reach on them so I just had the first two go around the front of the oil pan and then I took off these two and just used the flat platform. Um, but uh, that was really nice. And let me show you here. Probably my favorite feature of the whole thing is you have these different dials here that you can turn and this one for example will tilt it forward and backwards and then there's one on the side here as well that will put, pivot the other angle side to side and so literally when I was underneath the, uh, the truck I was able to lift the transmission at the angle I needed it to make some fine-tune adjustments to lift that transmission and move it around and then just put the transmission bolts in and lightly thread them and just keep going that way with it and I was able to mount that transmission alone. Now once again I do not recommend that. Uh, it's definitely a two-person job and uh, it helps to have two people. But uh, all in all I really really like this floor jack to the point where if anybody's talking to me about a transmission swap I tell them look Go spend the 150 bucks or whatever they are. They're, you know, that's it, it's a lot of money, but at the same time, it's not. You know, for something that's going to do so good of a job for you, and it helps to have this and a regular floor jack like that one over there. You know, having two at the same time really helps. But uh, I've been able to lift and lower transmission and transfer cases connected together with it, and also done that separately, and it did a great job each way. Now it does have this chain. And it hooks in, it hooks in here on one side, and then that's supposed to go, then that's supposed to go up and over the transmission and hook into the other side. Sorry about that. So then it'll hook into this other side. Now this part I'm not too thrilled on, it's just a hook here that catches it. I really wish they would have done at least another bolt or something to put this one through. And that's something you could do on your own quite easily. You know, it's, you're talking a few cents in hardware, so, you know, it's not a big deal. But uh, anyway, just to 
just to say in general, I'm, I'm very happy with this. It's been a great tool for me. I used, I, you know, I had it for one transmission thinking that's all I was going to use it for in the sense I've done two other transmissions and you just never know when you're going to need it. And uh, I can put it down and I usually can still slide it underneath these toolboxes and get it out of the way once I take these off. So anyway, uh, that's my review on it. Please let me know if there's any questions or anything I did not cover in the video. Um, all in all, I'm very satisfied with it. It's been a great tool and uh, I definitely would recommend having this if you're going to take on any kind of transmission or transfer case or anything like that kind of project because I mean trying to pivot everything on this little guy just doesn't always do the trick so anyway thanks for watching guys uh, let me know if you have any questions